The days of companies, you know, telling you, okay, if you do this, and in two years you're going to be this, and then two years, that's over. I mean, there are some companies that will still do that, but you need to own your own path. And my number is 64. 64 is a percentage increase in the number of high-end independent business talent in the last few years, which is the fastest growing segment of people who are deciding to become independent, which means work on a series of projects. There are more and more people who want to work this way, and that means companies have to pay attention to this population and really think about how to engage this population in order to get their work done. Instead of just saying, I'm going to hire a head of marketing, you know, I might say, I need someone to build my social media campaign for this new product. I need someone to come in and do my brand work. I need some. So it's a lot of really specific work definition that I think, you know, in the past might not have been necessary. The biggest misconception that we dealt with when we started is that nobody any good could be an independent professional. That by definition, anyone who was great was going to be in a permanent job. And that's just not true, and particularly not true at the high level, because what you actually see is some of the very best people have the freedom to decide, I want to pick what I work on, I want to choose who I work with, and I'm going to do that because I'm in such demand. And if you think about the permanent employment model, particularly in today's world, the world is rapidly changing, moving very quickly, it's of course global, the idea that someone you, one individual you hire is going to be able to do everything they need to do isn't, isn't realistic. The notion that you've got to be able to bring in what you need, when you need it, even at a high level, is an important new way to think. <laughs>